Andy is an entrepreneur with a great business idea, but he needs funding to start the business. His friend proposed him an alternative to traditional fundraising, the crowdfunding. He advised Andy to raise the fund on a crowdfunding platform and informed him of the structure and functioning of the crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is the solicitation of funds from investors for a specific investment purpose through an online portal or electronic platform, the crowdfunding platform. Andy discovers that the main players are the issuer, entity seeking funding, the investors, persons providing funding, the crowdfunding operator, entity licensed by the FSC to operate a crowdfunding platform. Crowdfunding is a fast-growing online activity which has in recent years contributed significantly in opening up new opportunities for both entrepreneurs and investors and has demonstrated the ability to promote innovation, wealth creation and more. Crowdfunding platforms lower the costs of fundraising while leveraging the geographic and social reach of the internet. There are four main types of crowdfunding donation-based, reward-based, debt-based, investment-based. On the 4th of September 2021, the Financial Services Commission, the FSC, issued the Financial Services Crowdfunding Rules 2021, which regulates investment-based crowdfunding. The crowdfunding operator must have a robust governance structure with adequate internal controls, risk management, and a resilient IT system. It must comply with all laws in force in Mauritius, including the Financial Services Act, the requirements of the crowdfunding rules and AML-CFT legislation. The crowdfunding operator is required to have a minimum unimpaired stated capital equivalent to 2 million Mauritian rupees or such higher amount as the FSC may require and it must have its registered office and principal place of business in Mauritius. The board of a crowdfunding operator must consist of a minimum of three directors, of which 30% must be independent directors and one resident in Mauritius. In addition, a crowdfunding operator must employ fit and proper staff with adequate experience and competence. The crowdfunding operator must also have a disaster recovery and business continuity plan to address any disruptive and major events and must make adequate arrangements to identify, manage, mitigate and report on conflicts of interests. There are disclosure requirements in the rules including on how the crowdfunding platform operates, the main risks associated with the activity and the actual and expected failure rate of issuers using the crowdfunding platform. An issuer can raise up to 15 million Mauritian rupees on a crowdfunding platform over a three-year period or such other period as may be approved by the FSC. Retail investors can invest a maximum of 350,000 Mauritian rupees over a period of 12 months. There is no limit of investment applicable for expert investors. In addition to the due diligence requirements under the AML-CFT legislations, a crowdfunding operator is required to conduct additional checks on both issuers and investors in order to provide additional comfort to stakeholders wishing to use the crowdfunding platform. All commitments for funding should be made during the commitment period. Funds collected by the crowdfunding operator on behalf of the issuer shall be kept in a dedicated, non-interest-bearing bank account with a bank duly licensed by the Bank of Mauritius. The crowdfunding operator is remunerated by way of fees and charges. Investors and issuers will need to sign agreements governing their respective rights and obligations. This product will contribute significantly to the development of Mauritius and further encourage investment and entrepreneurship. Crowdfunding can make entrepreneurs' idea a reality.